No way. You've really gone and done it this time, you filthy spriggan' trash! Isn't that the airship we saw in Tharbad? That belongs to the princely family of Elsheim. I think it might be carrying all of the city's children on board. Oh, good. That means the orphanage kids are safe. I'm so glad everything went according to plan. But wait, d does that mean that was what you were up to? That's right. Officially, it's a sightseeing flight to foster relations with the Central East and to commemorate the ending of the film festival. We spread awareness of it through the Orbal Network and with word of mouth and said that all children of the city were invited. We put the connections Dingo left behind to good use. Last night, we reached out to the Crown Prince and asked if we could use the Principality transport vessel. I fully expected him to inquire about why we needed it, but no. He just rushed on over in that airship without a second thought. He is quite the character. I wouldn't be surprised if he was taking inspiration from a certain musician I know. They're gonna fly around the city for the next couple of hours. Then they'll return to Rasion. That's one less thing we have to worry about as we head into the final battle. I'm genuinely speechless. Ah, an impressive feat to be sure. Indeed. Even if the worst case scenario should happen, the children will be out of harm's reach. This was a brilliant scheme. You should be proud of yourself, Agnes. Not at all. Admittedly, this was just a self-satisfied gesture that might well have no meaning at all. But I just happened to remember what Dingo once said to Van. Think about what you can do, and what you want to do. You'll find a clue on how to move forward in the gap between the two. Very well. Make the most of your connections while you're away. The CID is at your beck and call. There are many truths that lie dormant in the gap between ideals and reality. You would do well to seek them out. I also recalled the words of my dad, and it just spurred me to action, I suppose. After I thought of the idea, I spoke to Marielle and Ren, and we all decided to go ahead with it. By the way, I heard about what happened with Elaine through the guild. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there at such an important time. Why the hell are you saying sorry? You just earned us a huge win. You even factored in the Crown Prince's debt to us and turned him into a chess piece for your master plan. You've gotten pretty damn sneaky. We better watch out, or we're all gonna be your puppets before long. I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. <laughs> it's almost like you're utterly incapable of offering a genuine compliment. <sighs> I'm gonna have to start pulling my weight more. Sounds like our allies are on their way. Let's go, guys. It's time to finish this. Right. Let's do this! May Adios be with you all! Do whatever must be done to ensure that Agnes's precautions will be for naught.
Keycard confirmed. Team Arkride Solutions can now enter the final zone. So this is the interior of Vashtar Palace. It must have been a sight to behold, before the monarch was overthrown a century ago. Almost time for our final battle. Indeed. Though I am unsure of what to expect from the remaining Almada members. I'll tell you what we can expect. They'll come at us, and we'll beat their asses to a bloody pulp. And we'll stop them from detonating the bomb. Sounds like a plan. Let's get this party started! Time to put the pedal to the metal and go after him. Full speed ahead! This old palace is enormous. Even with all the decay, this place still has a certain grandeur to it. It's too grand a stage for this shitty ass game, that's for sure. Finally! You sure took your sweet ass time. <laughs> you got that right, pretty lady. We couldn't really go at it in the labyrinth, but there's nothing stopping us from fighting to the death now. <sighs> this place ain't got any of the resplendence it had when I came here in the bygone days. But this decrepit old ruin makes for a kick-ass backdrop for our fight, don't you think?
All right, enough talk. I can't wait a minute longer, so let's get this show on the road. I ain't got to play the rules enforcer anymore. I'm finally free to go all out. Be on your guard, everyone. He's unleashing the artifact's full power. Hmm. Talk about disappointing. Come again? I had my expectations raised when you said you wanted me specifically to take part in this carnival. And those expectations were thoroughly dashed. Is this really the best entertainment you can offer? Judith. <laughs> <laughs> I love a woman with spunk. You and I got some things in common. We're both thrill seekers. You find yours from acting and thieving. I get mine from chopping hands off. Also, like you, I'm hard to please. Do you really think you can quench my ravenous thirst for a good fight? Yes, I do. I'm gonna put on one hell of a show just for you. You should feel lucky. I'm gonna give you my undivided attention because I won't let a potential fan live a cursed and meaningless existence. Consider this my calling card. From the Phantom Thief Grimcat to Arioke the Eradicator. I'm gonna bring you to your knees, and I'll steal your empty heart right before you. <laughs> Hell yeah. You tell him, sister. <laughs> what an adorable little proclamation. <laughs> You'll steal my heart? <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've heard all week. If you think you can fill the bottomless void deep within me, then you're welcome to try! <laughs> About time I showed what my fangs of Rahu are really capable of. Go all out! Here we go, Bear! I'll back you up! If you will. I like where this is headed. Activating skill. Silver wings. <laughs> Not bad. Up to you. All right, thanks, Rocky. Let's get one! Oblivion Beast! Huh? The set! Sweep them! This is it! Oh! 
Exceptional work. You managed to break the artifact's core. <laughs> that really was a hell of a show. <laughs> well, of course. I did promise as much, and I even recreated Golden Blood's climax just for you. Didn't see that coming at all. Um, what's going on? W wait, is this? It's just like what happened to Ida. <laughs> you are one captivating gal, you know that? It's like you were commanding my attention and that fight ends in the movie I saw last night. Wait, you went to the movies? Did you actually go to see Golden? <sighs> Victory is yours. You said you'd bring me to my knees, and you did just that. The path to Dante's is open. He's all that remains now. Melchior will just be there as a witness. Let's hope you could stand up to the boss's fear. <laughs> 
or else your legs might give out from under you. <sighs> if you really did go to see it, you could have at least shared your impressions with me. Guess that's one mystery that'll stay forever unsolved. But at the very least, he seemed satisfied as he passed somehow. Yeah, maybe you managed to fill some of that empty heart of his right at the end. <sighs> One can only hope. All right, I'm done stealing the spotlight. I'll hand over the reins to the rest of you. Oh, but I'm not planning on slacking off now. I may be a temp employee, but I'm still gonna give this my all. Naturally. I expect nothing less from all my employees, temp or perm. The next fight will be our last. Then this madness will finally be behind us. Get ready, everyone. We're gonna go in there and make Dante's pay for all his crimes. Very well. Gift from above. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. That one's big. Show yourself Take for it. It. Show him what you're really capable of. That's good. about time we wrap this up. Right. Let's gun for it. 